going to show y'all how to contour, highlight, and apply blush. And um, this has been a really requested video. Um, and reasons being that, ugh, gosh, I have all these strings on my shirt, so like getting caught on my watch. Um, contouring can be kind of scary. You don't want to like literally cut your face up into sections, but you just want to give it that nice dimension. So when you look at your face or when someone sees your face, it's not just completely washed out. It's not all one color. You have really good dimension to your face and you're really accentuating the shadows on your cheekbones and on your neck and right here. And you're also bringing forth light to the areas that are higher on your face, like your cheeks right here, underneath your eye, right here, down the bridge of your nose, and your cupid's bow, and also your brow bone. So if you were to be drawing a picture on a piece of paper, you would obviously add shadows and dimension to the picture, otherwise it would just look flat. You want to make your face look more 3D. So if you'd like to see how I do this, then keep watching. All right, so I have absolutely nothing on my face. I thought that I would just go ahead and start from scratch so I can show you step by step what I do to highlight and contour my face. So first is foundation. Um, I love my L'Oreal True Match foundation. Lately I've been mixing it with my Revlon Photo Ready just because the shade is a little bit more similar to my skin. I'm a lot more fair than usual. Um, so in the summer I was really, really tan. But I'm just going to go ahead and use this for now. And I am in the shade Sun Beige, Sun Beige or W6. And I apply this with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush, which I absolutely love and I highly recommend. I think it was like $10 or less than $10. Um, and it's a really good brush. So... I'm just going to put a little of this, a little bit of this in the back of my hand. And if I'm looking down, it's because my mirror is right here. So I'm just going to apply this all over my face. And the main reason for wearing foundation is just to even out your skin tone. You're not really trying to cover a whole lot. You're just trying to get rid of any kind of redness. And just make your face look really even. So I try not to cake it on because I don't want that really heavy look. I just use it to even out my complexion. I have a lot of redness right here on my cheeks, which is normal. Um, a lot of people have a lot of redness right here, um, a lot of darkness right here, and I mean, not you, you don't have to wear concealer. Um, honestly, most days I don't even wear concealer just because I don't really... I don't really need it and I don't really care if I have a little bit of, you know, darkness down there. It's natural. <laughs> so I'm just going to bring this down to my neck because that is a little bit darker than my skin tone and I don't want to look like I'm wearing a mask. Alright, so I've pretty much gotten my skin pretty even. It's all the same shade. I don't have a lot of splotchiness um, like you could tell I did before. So I just put that on. And then just for um, the sake of this, I am going to put concealer on because that does play a role in um, the highlighting and contouring. So now that I have completely done my face with foundation, I'm going to take my Maybelline Instant Age Rind Concealer. I like this concealer because one, the applicator is really easy to use. I can just roll it on um, this under eye area. And two, if you can tell, it's got this little twist thing you can hear it click and so whenever it twists it act it's actually pushing the concealer down and up through this tube so you're getting your money's worth it's not like a tube where you have to squeeze it and you're not really sure if you got it all so that's why I really like it so I take it and I click it a few times and then what I do is I draw this V shape under my eyes and if you've seen some of my videos you'll notice I do that and it looks kind of crazy but this is what I use. And this is just really gonna bring light to this area. So I actually got my concealer in a couple shades lighter. This is in the shade 20 light. Um, this obviously does not match my foundation and that's for a reason. I wanna really make sure that this area right here is really, really highlighted. 
So I'm just going to take my foundation brush and buff out the edges. I'm not really going to, I'm not going to go in there and blend it because I want this area to stay really light. You can use any kind of brush. You can use a brush like this, um, which is just a smaller foundation brush. You can use a concealer brush like this. Anything works. You can use your fingers. I mean, your fingers work really well too, but I'm just going to use this and just lightly buff out the edges. And this is why I love this foundation brush as well because I like to use it with my concealer too. So see, I'm just kind of buffing it. I'm not wiping it, I'm not swiping it. And if you were to use your fingers, I would just suggest patting it like this. And that way you're gonna get um, a longer lasting product. And you're not just, because when you wipe it, you're literally just wiping the product off of your face. So as you can tell, this area is a lot lighter than it was with just my foundation on. And a ton lighter than when I didn't have anything on. So that's what I use for concealer. Whoopsie. So that's what I use for concealer. Now, I also like to set my concealer and my foundation. But I'm going to show you how I, can, I set my concealer as well. Because this is really important too. So... For this, I'm just going to take a little spongy applicator, and this is just a light loose powder um, by TG. Um, another great way to do this, Ben Nye makes a banana powder that you can set your concealer with, and it's a really brightening powder, so that's also a really good alternative. I'm not really sure how much it is. I think it might be a little bit on the pricier side, um, but really any kind of loose face powder will work. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my sponge like this. I'm going to dab it in the powder, just like this, and I want to cake it on. It's all right. You don't have to tap out the excess. And then I'm just going to pat it underneath my eye area. And it's going to be really, really light, and that's perfectly fine. And that's why you want a loose powder, because we're eventually going to wipe it away. But a loose powder isn't going to stick to your skin like a pressed powder will. Okay. So I'm just going to highlight this area, and this is where you're really going to want to bring a lot of light. Um, you don't want to look really dark, because that makes you look tired. You want to look more awake and more bright. So that's why we really like to highlight this area. So honestly, I just let this sit for like 30 seconds to a minute. I might, you know, do something, do some other portion of my face while this is sitting here. Um, but just for this, I'm just, just going to... Go and wipe it away. Um, I just take a little fluffy brush like this. You can take any kind of brush, any kind of, whoops, oh my gosh, I'm dropping everything, any kind of powder brush just to wipe it away. And that's all I'm going to do. And you want to let it sit there for um, probably longer than I did. I'm just doing this for video purposes. But you want to let it sit there so that it really sets the concealer and soaks into your skin. I know that sounds kind of gross, but that's how it is. All right. Now to set my foundation, I'm going to take my True Match Face Powder. I'm just going to powder it all over my face like normal. And that way we can start with the contouring. So I guess I will go ahead and start with contouring. There are many different ways you can do this. Um, one is you can actually take a foundation a few shades darker than your foundation. So for instance, in the L'Oreal True Match, I would probably take a shade like Cappuccino and you can actually dab this on your finger and put it right underneath your cheekbone. And when I say cheekbone, it's when you make a fish face and you have your cheekbone right there. So you can use a liquid like this. You can just use a regular liquid foundation that's a few shades darker than your face. Um, going along with that, you can take a face powder that is a couple shades darker than your face and use that as well. This is a powder. Um, and I explained this in one of my um, bronzer videos, but this is also a great alternative. Or you can just use a bronzer from the drugstore or a high-end bronzer, whatever bronzer you want to use. Now for contouring, the main, the main point of contouring is to really give dimension to your face. Because right now my face just looks really flat. It's pretty much all one color except it's a little bit lighter under here. But my face is pretty much all one color. We don't want to look washed out. We want to have dimension to our face just like we would normally. Without makeup on, I had a lot of dimension to my face because I had a lot of different color on my face. So for today, I'm going to use my Milani face powder. Um, and this is in the shade Medium Tan. And it's just a few, probably 
four, three or four shades darker than my actual skin tone, so it's pretty dark. Um, and I'm just going to apply this to the right underneath my cheekbone. And basically, you're just putting the bronzer where the shadows are going to hit your face. So if you're just looking at my face, the shadows are going to hit you here, they're going to hit you here, and they're going to hit you here, here, and right here. And then also you can put a little on your nose to kind of show that, and that will also slender out your nose a little bit as well. I don't really mess with that because I don't really care. But um, basically this is going to be the outline of where your bronzer is going to go. So you can take any kind of brush. I'm just going to take this angled brush, um, just any kind of angled brush. You can even use a smaller brush, like if you really want to contour. It depends on how drastic you want it to go. So I'll show you a few different variations of how I apply mine. So I'm just going to take my face powder, and this is pretty pigmented, so I'm really going to tap it off. Okay, make fish face. And then we're going to apply it right here. Always look straight ahead when applying your bronzer. Don't turn to the side or anything like that. Always look straight ahead because when you turn to the side, it's deceiving on how much you're putting on and where you're putting it. So always look straight forward. So I'm going to look down at my mirror. So I'm going to start at my cheekbones. I'm going to work my way up to my temples. Back down and then down. I'm going to start out with um, one way you can do it and then I'll show you how you can kind of transition it for a different effect. Okay, so take it down to my neck or my chin, right under my chin because obviously that part is very shaded. And then I'm going to bring it down here. And then I'm also going to bring a little bit right here on my chin because that part is shaded too. So as you can tell, this is very dramatic. I would never wear my bronzer like this. This is way too much for me. But this is just to really show you how it contours your face. You can already see my cheekbones are sticking out a lot more and you can really see the definition now which is basically the whole point of contouring now my suggestion for doing uh, for contouring is to start out little and then build up the product into the color that you want and to the effect that you want I started out kind of BAM because I wanted you to really see how much this works now if this is too much for you like it is too much for me I'm just going to take my bronzer blush I mean bronzer brush or angled brush, whatever, and I'm just going to blend it out. You don't want to blend it in, you always want to blend out. I'm just going to blend this out. Alright, so now I have a really contoured face. This is still a little bit too much for me, but just for video purposes, it's kind of it shows up a little bit more on camera so you can really see it. So now for blush and um, you can use any kind of blush again just like bronzer. Um, I guess I'll just go ahead and use my favorite blush which is the Milani Luminoso blush just to show you. And you can use any kind of brush for this. Um, I'm just going to use this brush that I always use. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this now it depends on how you want to apply your bronzer. Some people like to apply, I mean bronzer, their blush. Some people like to apply their blush way back here, right on top of the bronzer, just on the high points of their cheek. Or some people like to put it on the apples of their cheeks. Some, some people like to start at the apples and work their way back. That's kind of the method I, that I use. And again, start out with very little. You don't want to pack it on right at the beginning because it's easier to add than take away. So I'm just going to start right at my cheeks. And I'm looking down at my mirror. And you can kind of smile a little bit to really make your cheeks stand out. And then I'm just going to work it back a little bit. I don't really like my br blush. I can't say these words. My blush really heavy back here. I usually start right on the apples and work back. Now, for the most natural look, you don't want to just pack it right on your apples like, you know, you have, you know, the little cartoons where they just have the little circles and the, you know, 
rosy cheeks. You don't want to do that. You want it to be very um, even. You want it to blend really well. You don't just want a bunch right here or a bunch back here. You want it to kind of blend out. So if you do want the majority back here, blend it forward just a little bit or blend it back a little bit. Okay, and to achieve this, you can even take a big powder brush like this and blend it like this. Just to blend your bronzer and blush together so it's not so harsh. Alright, so that is my bronzer and my blush. Now we're going to get to highlighting. In highlighting is going to be the total opposite of bronzer. You're going to highlight the areas where the light is going to naturally hit your face. So just looking at my face right now, you can tell the light is going to hit here, it's going to hit on the bridge of your nose, it's going to hit right here on your brow bone because that part sticks out because your eye curves in, and then also um, right here at your lip. And this is also going to make your lips look fuller. So there are many different types of highlighters. You can do a shimmery highlighter. This is MAC Silver Dusk, which is what I like to use a lot. You can use a, um, a matte light, just a light powder like we used under the eye. Or you can use a cream highlighter. So I'm going to show you how to do all of these. All right, so the highlighter that I like to use most often is my MAC Silver Dusk. It's very shimmery, which is what I like. You don't have to use a shimmery highlight. Um, like I said before, the main purpose of a highlighter is to just brighten up the areas of your face that the that light is naturally going to hit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like with Silver Dusk and then I'll show you um, a few other options. So this is what it looks like and it's just a loose powder. It's really, really shimmery and it's absolutely gorgeous. So what I like to use to highlight my face is the fan brush and I like this because it's really wispy and it's not going to cake on a ton of product on your face. Um, you can use any kind of brush like even the brush that I used for my under eye setting my under eye concealer you can use that as well. I mean anything will work. This is just what I think works best. So I'm just going to take whatever's in the lid because it is super pigmented. It is like very concentrated. I don't know how you say it, but so I just have some on the tip of my brush and then I'm going to do it right on top of my blush, brush, blush, all these words just, they're driving me crazy. All right. So I'm going to do it right here on the tops of my cheekbones, right above my blush. I'm just going to sweep it across. And that's why I love this brush. I'm looking down at my mirror again. So I love this brush is because it's so easy and effortless. You just kind of dust it on and that's really all you're doing. You don't want it to be too cakey. All right, so that is the MAC highlighter. And if you can tell, it's got a little bit of a shimmer and it's just really pretty. It kind of gives you a nice glow when your face catches the light. It's really going to um, show up. You can also use a, um, a matte powder. This is the same powder that I used underneath my eye. And it just looks like that. It's pretty much the same thing, except it doesn't have shimmer. So I'm just going to take a little bit, little bit of this on my brush, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to highlight this area the same way I did on the other side. So really there's not a huge difference except for the fact that this side doesn't have shimmer. And it actually is kind of showing up that it does have shimmer because my brush had some of the uh, MAC powder on it, but they pretty much do the same thing. It all depends on what you, um, your preference. If you really like, you, you like your face to be really matte, if you're really oily and you don't want to be, you don't want to add any more shine, then I would definitely suggest a matte powder. Another option is taking a cream highlighter. This is actually a color tattoo for your eye. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Barely Beige. And I like to use this as a cream highlighter as well. So what I'll do is I'll just take my finger and I've already highlighted these areas, so I'm just gonna highlight the rest of my face. So I'm gonna put some of this down the bridge of my nose and that is extremely drastic. So I'm just gonna take my other finger and blend it out. And that's why I like using this cream shadow because it blends out really nicely and it is such a pretty highlighter. I'm also gonna take some and put some right underneath my brow bone because this is the highest point of your eye. And as you can tell, it's got that really nice highlight right under there. So you do right under your brow bone and then you can also do your Cupid's bow, which is this little area right here. And I just like to dust a little bit on there. 
and it kind of makes your lips look a little more full as well. So it does two things at once. So if you don't have a highlighter, you can use any kind of cream shadow. Also, another place to highlight is your forehead because this is also a really high point on your face. So I'm just going to go back to my MAC Silver Dusk. I like to use a powder for this area. I'm just going to take some in here, tap through excess, and then just kind of dust that across my forehead like this. All right, so you can tell the areas of my face that are a lot brighter, and then you can tell where I've contoured on my face. So I really hope this was helpful. Again, you just kind of tweak it as you go, just if it's too dramatic, if it's too much, you know, tone it down a little bit. Like I said, always start out with just a little bit first and then build it up to the shade that you want. I hope this was helpful, and I will talk to you later. Bye.